Hi all, welcome to episode 3 of Lockdown Glam. So for today's look I thought why not do a nice FaceTime date night look. There's a lot of you that are going on first dates, well online anyway, or are just um, having dates with your partners. So I thought let's do a beautiful, sultry, sexy, smoky eye for your date night. If you guys like my video, please remember to like and subscribe and comment below. Hope you enjoy! Okay, so for this date night FaceTime makeup look, my first thing that I'm going to do is prep my skin. I want my skin to look beautiful, healthy and glowy for my date night. So I'm going to use Pathology's face mask. This is lovely and illuminating and it really makes your skin glow. <laughs> Okay, so that's been done. My face feels nice and fresh and rehydrated. Oh, this face mask is beautiful. As you can see, I've got excess serum. So I'm just going to pat it down with a tissue. Just get rid of the excess. But you can leave it on your skin. You don't need to wash it off. This works really well if you keep it on your skin. It works as a nice hydrating primer. So my skin is lovely and prepped, ready for foundation. Now I've decided to use a cheaper brand foundation this time. You don't always need to use expensive foundations for your makeup to look good. So I'm going to go in with L'Oreal's True Match. Now as you can see I've got two bottles here. Unfortunately I need to use two colours because my neck is dark and my face is light. There's a lot of women of colour that have this problem. I'm just going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand. So a bit of the darker one first and then I'm going to pop a little bit of the lighter one after. So I'll put a little bit more light till I do the dark and then I'm going to use a Kabuki brush, one of these. Again this is Spectrum brushes, so cute, look at this, this is such a nice brush. And then I'm just going to mix it in on the back of my hand and then just swirl it onto my face. Right, so when you're doing your foundation do not forget to go around the sides of your face, underneath your chin, your jawline, around your forehead, into your hairline. Remember, you're going on your date tonight, so you wanna look flawless, you want everything to look perfect. You want a seamless blend. Okay, next up I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Away Wand to add a bit of concealer underneath my eyes. Just gonna pop a little bit directly onto my skin. And then I'm gonna use my little blending sponge just to buff it in. Let's use the same concealer to go underneath my brow bone. So I'm going to just pop a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury on the back of my hand and then I'm going to use a flat brush, this is a MAC one, and I'm just going to go underneath my brows and draw across like so. And then you just brush downwards. So this is giving me that lovely threaded look. So I'm just going to use a blending brush and just buff away the sharp edges. So I'm just going to keep this nice and soft. Don't want to have it too light underneath my brow bone. I want to keep the effect quite soft. Next up I'm going to fill my brows in. I'm going to use the Eyebrow Queen's Black Brown Pencil. I love this pencil because it's got the brush on the end. So just make sure your eyebrows are nicely brushed up before you apply any product. And then start on the inner corner. And then just brush the colour through your brows. And this pencil is good because it's super pointy, so it gives a nice sharp ending. My brows are lovely and penciled in. Just make sure they're brushed up like that, just to make sure all of the pencil colour has gone through the brows. Can you see the difference between these two brows? That's why I love penciling my brows in. I always have to anyway. I mean, God, look at these. <laughs> Too much of a difference. Right, I'm just going to go on to the other side. The next thing I'm going to do is go on to brushing them up and keeping them in place. I'm going to use a little bit of a brow fix. I'm actually going to use the Soap Brows Brow Fix today. Um, this is so lovely. It's nice and cheap. You can buy this online. I'm going to mix a little bit of setting spray into this. So what I normally do is just spritz a little bit of setting spray onto the brow fix using my little brush that I've got from the Eyebrow Queen. And then I just dip a little bit of the brush into it. So you just swirl it on a little, pop a little bit on the back of your hand and then just brush it through your brows and this keeps the brows in place. This is a really good technique to have nice brushed up brows. 
Okay, so now we're coming to the eye. So I'm actually gonna add a little bit of eye primer on before I put any eyeshadow on. This will help the eyeshadow to stay, have some setting power. Also, I won't have any fallout. Using a medium sized brush, I'm just gonna pop the primer onto the lids only. Now I'm gonna use Max Contrast. It's a beautiful midnight blue color. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit on to my eyeshadow brush. And then you can go straight onto the eyelid with this. Okay, it's a gorgeous, sparkly, iridescent blue, but it's still dark enough to be classed as a smoky color. Okay, so once you've added enough eyeshadow, then you can go in with a blending brush just to blend the sockets through a little bit. I'm just going to blend it through. So when I blend, I always like swish back and forward. Think of window wipers, just go just like that. I'm going to use Carbon by MAC. It's a super lovely black. I'm going to start on the outer corners of the top lashes and then just work the colour to the ends of the socket and do that V shape that I mentioned previously in my last tutorial. So you just do a V shape like this. And then just bring the black out a little bit so you're blending outwards and then you could just bring it across three quarters of the way in through to your socket so get that blending brush the same blending brush you use on your socket and you just work some of the black color yes we are going in with the black so we're going to use a little bit of the black on the blending brush that we use for the socket and I'm just going to take that colour and then just push it outwards. So always use a blending brush when you're blending out a smoky eye. That gives it that pro look. As you can see, it looks a little bit messy underneath. So all you need to do is go in with your concealer. So I'm going to go back in with my Charlotte Tilbury concealer. And I'm going to use a small blending brush like that. And then I'm just going to dab away any eyeshadow underneath that I don't want. So I'm gonna create a nice V shape because I want it to go upwards and outwards. So what I'm gonna do now is mirror the effects. I'm gonna go underneath the eyes with my Midnight Blue. I'm gonna dip back in. I'm gonna use a tiny blending brush this time. So this one's got like a little pointy end. I'm gonna dip back into my Contrast Blue eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to go underneath my eyes. So I'm going to tilt my chin and go underneath my eyes and then brush that colour on the outer corner. And I'm going to take it about three quarters of the way across, just like that. So this brush is super good because it does give a nice soft effect. Okay, so next, using the same brush, I'm going to dip back into my Carbon MAC. And then I, on the outer corner, I'm just going to smoke it out even more. So I want it a bit darker on my outer corner. Take that colour up to your top lid a little bit, just so that it blends through really nicely. Okay, there you go. So the next thing I like to do is go in with Feline Eye Pencil. This pencil is a really black black. It just gives a really black defined eye look. My eyes are looking really defined, really smoky, really sexy. The only thing, as you can probably see, is I'm missing some fluttery lashes. So before I put my falsies on, I'm just going to curl my lashes with my Kevin Laquan eyelash curlers. I'm just going to go from the root to the lash and try not to squeeze my lashes. But it's going to pinch me and really hurt. It's really hard to curl your lashes and talk at the same time, but I'm trying my best. Okay, so I'm going to keep it here for five seconds. And then I'm just going to do the other eyelash like that. Good, squeeze down hard for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. That's not quite five, is it? But anyway, that will do. There you go. So once that's done, I can now go into my false lashes. So I've decided to use Little Mixes range. These are actually really nice. I have used their range before. My favourite is Jade. It really suits my eyelashes. This is what they look like. They come like that. They come with their own little eyelash glue, but I prefer to use my Dua eyelash glue. 
I said this one in my other tutorial, the green writing one, it dries really quickly. So I'm going to pop that on with my Anish glue. You can save these for another time, but I prefer this one. Okay, so using tweezers, you just pop the eyelash into place, look down into a mirror, and then just put it into place, let the tweezers go, and fix the lashes to your lash line. Just push in ribs like that. Try not to have shaky hands. I'm a little bit hungry, I haven't eaten much today, so my hands are a little bit shaky. I need to watch out for that. So lashes have been put in place, nice and fluttery. So I'm just gonna finish off my eye look by putting a light blue right on the inner corners of my eyes, just to give it a little bit of a pop. I want it to pop tonight on my FaceTime date night look. So I'm just gonna use a small brush and I'm gonna dip into Moon's Reflection. I notice I'm using all MAC today, but sometimes it's just like that. You just have all the eyeshadows from the same brand. So I'm gonna dip into this light sparkly blue shade and then I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the corner of my eyes. Can you see, it just gives it that lovely little sparkle. Looks really cute, really nice. Can even pop a little bit, so I'm getting carried away now, pop a little bit on my lid, just in the center, just to bring it up a little bit. Look at that. Wow, that just looks gorgeous. Just gives it that little bit of a pop just on the lid there. And I do the other side. Lovely, look at that. Ooh. See, it's still smoky, but it just gives it a nice pop of colour. Lovely. See? That's my eyes all done. Oh, no. How did I forget? I need to just finish this off with a little bit of mascara. I'm going to use Max Azum Lash Mascara just to marry my lashes up with the falsies. How could I even forget that? So I'm just going to go right in the root and then just work the colour through, but not towards the tip of the falsies because I don't want to ruin the falsies with mascara. So I'm just gonna like swig it through. So it just literally marries up your lashes with the falsies there so that you don't see any kind of join at all. Right, so for my cheeks, again, I think I'm gonna stick with the MAC family. Why not, eh? Might as well. I'm gonna use NW58. Now this is actually Studio Fix. So this is what I mean about you don't have to keep buying lots of different products. You can actually use the same products to do different things on the face. I'm actually gonna use this Studio Fix as a contour. I'm gonna suck my cheekbones in and then just work the colour towards the centre of my mouth. Okay, so my cheeks have been nicely contoured as you see. I'm just gonna give my cheekbones a nice bit of highlighter. I'm gonna go in with Nars's Orgasm. It's such a beautiful range of colours as you can see here. They've got a gorgeous peachy gold one, which I'm just gonna dip into now. I'm gonna use my sponge for that and I'm just gonna pop a bit on my cheekbones and blend it through. So I literally just pat it through. Can you see it's like a pinky gold colour? It's just really nice and it has like a nice wet look effect as well. Okay, so before I do any lipstick, as you know, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of balm just to get them nice and soft and supple, ready for some lip liner and for some lipstick. I've decided to do a nice ombre lip just to go with these eyes, a nice nude ombre. So when I say ombre, it's almost like a two-toned lip that sort of gives me a nice sort of fleshy pout. So I'm just gonna draw my lip liner in first. So this is obviously my favorite chestnut lip liner. I promise I won't be using this all the time in all my tutorials, but I do love it for this ombre lip look that I'm gonna to do today. Okay, so once you've lined your lips, all you need to do is press it together like this, and that softens the lip liner, and it also brings the color through to your lips as well. And then I like to go in with my gorgeous Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now, I can't say this properly without doing a fake dodgy LA accent, but I love this color. This is called Honey. All I need to do is go on the center of the lips like this, and then I just press together like this, can you see it's just giving it a nice fleshy ombre affected lip look. 
Now, a little tip for you, and I got this from the lovely Jennifer Hudson. She wears quite a lot of bright colours and sometimes she doesn't want her lips to look too big and too fleshy. So what you'll need to do is use a dark lip liner, darker than your lipstick, probably about two shades darker than your lipstick. And then you just draw in the corners like this. Right, I'm not using one, I'm still using my chestnut lip liner, but this is just to demonstrate what you need to do. You just fill in your outer corners like this and above and to the side and like that. And that automatically draws your lips in. So that's just a little celebrity tip for you. Right, I'm gonna finish this lip look with a juicy, glossy lip. Now, one of my favorites is Victoria's Secrets lip glosses. I love them. Every time I go to the States, I always gotta to go to Victoria's Secrets and I buy a whole range of them. You can get Victoria's Secrets online, but I just like the novelty of going into an American shop and buying my Victoria's Secrets. So I'm gonna use Sugar High. So it's a nice, pinky, opaque, glittery lip look. Okay, so my look is almost done, but I think I'm starting to shine up a little bit, especially around the T-zone area. So I think I'm going to go in with Huda Beauty's Loose Setting Powder, and this one's called Coffee Cake. So I'm going to use a small brush and then just pat a little bit around my T-zone. So my forehead, like that, and around the sides of my nose, especially the sides of my nose, it always shines up. And then just a little bit on the centre of my nose as well and my chin area. So I'm only using a small touch because I want to have a little bit of shine. Just makes your skin look a little bit more natural. Almost finished. I'm going to go in with Mixie's Dewy Finish Setting Spray. So I'm just going to spritz that all over my face just to set my makeup look. Oh, lovely. Gorgeous. If you guys like my video today, please do like, subscribe, comment below. Hope to see you soon.